forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. So I did a little bit of extra things off camera. As you guys can see the time is, or the day actually is a lot further on than last time. Um, the defenses are all up, just need to add the spikes before we test the base in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, so all the defenses are up. Now we just need, oh, except I still want to put this on, the iron bars. And then today we're going to finish the mega farm. I actually extended the farm, as you can see it's quite awesome. Um, I went almost to all the towns on the map, so I just want to show you guys, this one, this one, this one, uh, even went to the nuclear station up here, covered this whole town over there, this one, and my own town, all the cars and in between are gone, and because of that I was able to actually fill this up, so now I can cover 600 watts, more than enough for each side, so now my wards will be covered at least. But what I want to do this episode is I want to finish that farm. Um, I want to make a mini bike entrance. And then also I want to do the kitchen and storage a little bit. I just hope we have time for everything. Now guys, as you can see, there's blotches on the floor over here. That's because my game is bugged. I think my game is broken. Um, the temperature, I just want to show you guys. My character is actually wearing a puffer coat. And he was wearing a jacket as well. Anyways, he's wearing a puffer coat, but it feels like 46. And this is the forest biome. It keeps snowing and I keep getting abominable snowmen and uh, tigers and even direwolves over here. So the game is definitely broken. I tried reinstalling the mod, uh, validating the game, even playing a vanilla game and then re reloading the mod so they can uh, copy the temps of the other game. But it turns out that even the vanilla game is bugged. So I'll have to remove the whole game or uninstall the whole game and reinstall it just to fix that. Um, so if it gets too bad, I'll turn off the weather, but for now, it should hold. Damn, I'm getting stutter again. I think it's my OBS, I just don't know why it's giving this much stutter. Okay, so, uh, over here, we have the power supply. Guys, since my... I'll show you upstairs now. Um, my solar panel can only hold up to... My solar band can only hold up to 180 watt, and this one can hold 200, uh, almost 300 watt. Just because of these two, it can't hold over 300. The thing is just, during the night, my uh, fridges will work, but during the day, the food will spoil. So for now, I'm only going to use two of these for the sp uh, perishables, and then two normal ones for like seeds and empty jars and stuff like that. Damn, it's, it's a shame it's different colors. Look how bad this looks. Let's turn this light off. We have light in here. That looks ugly. Okay. Um, did I want? I actually wanted to put the fridges over here. Oh well. So let's just grab this big oven over here. Put this over here, and then I have kitchen tables. I want to put over here. So this starvation mode is actually awesome. It actually gives you a proper kitchen. It doesn't give you a normal oven, but it does give you at least an oven to work with. I just need to get all these uh, tools over here now. Okay, and then we have cabinets. This actually looks like the best uh, kitchen I've had thus far in the game. One, two, three, and four. I actually need to add a sink as well. Tops. Um, I think as to not obstruct the light, I'm just going to keep it as high as possible. It might not look that good, but at least it looks like a kitchen when you walk in here. Okay, so the food can call, uh, all come up here. The only thing is we need to make space first. So they just quickly do the farm, and then we do the storage, and then we do the iron bars outside. The iron bars aren't that important. I mean, as long as I have those up with the spikes before the horde, then we're settled. Uh, let's just do this. Also, you'll see down here... I took away the one chicken coop and rabbit hutch because I mean I have a ton. I think I almost have a thousand eggs and I have more than enough feathers. So I just added everything together and then I put the moonshine thing over here and the tank as well as four biodigesters back here. Guys, I do apologize if you see a little bit stutter on the camera. Um, I don't know why, man. My GPU is an RX 580 and my CPU is i7 700 or 7700K. So I shouldn't be getting lag, but I think it's OBS causing the lag. Also, since the weather is bugged, unfortunately the crops also 
uh, you'll see there are rats and stuff upstairs every now and then. Because these lights, even though they're on, are they on? Wait, 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 wait. They're supposed to be on. Turn off, turn on. Oh, it's first charging these batteries. Let's just do it with all of them quickly. See, if the lights don't work, just do this and they turn on. Even with the lights on and the repellents on, I still get rats. So that's why I say it's bugged. And then you might have noticed this massive hole next to me. This is where the normal tree farm is going to be. So we have our harvestable crops over here. We have our fruit trees, our harvestable trees over here. And I even extended a little bit over here so that we have all 10 trees. Because I didn't notice they actually added... I think it was a lime... No, we had lime. They added lemon tree. I could be wrong. It could be the other way around. Anyway, so now there are 10 harvestable trees. So I made room for those. And then I made a... Elevator system out of hatches over here, and you just drop down on the hay over here. As you can see, there's going to be 10 of each tree. Uh, this is just for the aesthetic. Uh, you don't need 10 of each tree. You can just do 30 of any tree. But for now, I'm not going to hoe this ground or till this ground now. Um, I think off camera I'll come back and do that. For now, all I want to do... Technically, I should only put the middle one with the tree. Because uh, zombies can spawn on this, if I'm not mistaken. Sure, it's a player place block. But I've had so many zombies spawn on that. It has to be told for it not to spawn anything. So, for now... I already made a mistake there. But then again, this is stone. It's also an uh, NPC block. So if the zombies spawn here, down here, they'll spawn on the stone as well. But to save time, let's just quickly do this. And if we have time left, we'll come back and... Either till the ground or plant flowers on top of it. So it'll be a tree with flowers surrounding it. I think that'll look actually a lot better. But yeah, as you can see, this is 13 deeper than the normal farm. And then we have every five blocks metal twisting supporting the top. Metal twisting sides like we have all around. And then iron bars. The iron bars actually started to cave a little bit. So <laughs> I'm just glad this thing doesn't cave any further. So guys, um, I apologize for only uploading, I think it was two episodes last week, but it seems my views are better on those videos. I mean, both those videos have 40 views. So I think I should keep my schedule not every second day, but every third day, since that'll actually also give you a chance to go through all your YouTubers that you watch, and you won't have to think, oh damn, there's so many videos that I have to catch up on. Even me, I have, I think, five YouTubers I follow, and I barely get time to record let alone watch their videos i think this is going to look so awesome once the trees are grown and this whole floor is upgraded it's going to look so good okay and then pine seeds so what i went for over here i thought there was block missing what i went for over here is the short maple see it's starting to snow again short maple uh the taller but white tree and then the tallest tree at the back so it's going to give a nice layer feel to it I wonder if there's a way to turn the weather off, like the snow and stuff. I know that you can turn weather survival off, but not the weather itself. Or does weather survival... I should actually test it now to see if it stops snowing. So like I said, I went to this town. The first time I noticed something was bugged. I went to this town over here, which is close to the snow. It, it's very high up. It's close to the snow, it's in the desert, and it's next to the forest. It started happening over here where I got so many uh, white dogs. You know, the ones that you have to kill? Or white wolves, sorry. White wolves, I got abominable snowmen, I got dire wolves, I got white tigers. Everything you need for that one quest is over here. Now, this is bugged, the weather and everything. But there's also another thing that's bugged. As you can see, I'm still on level 4 out of 5 for my rifle. But 5 out of 5 for shotgun, you need to kill all of these with a shotgun. And I have killed some of them, like for example a policeman, and it still stays zero. So even this quest is bugged. That's why I say I think my game is broken. Just before recording, my temperatures were actually normal for the first time in a long time. And then it started dropping again. Okay, so for now that should be enough. What I'm going to do here, but I'll do that off camera. Is I want to make a animal pen over here for my hyena. I actually have a hyena. I don't know if I actually mentioned that to you guys. 
when I skinned the hyena, I picked up one. But um, I have an albino hyena. I have a lot of other animals as well, so I'll make my farm down here. I just have to make it high enough so that they can't break through. But I don't know if they will try or not. Okay, so let's use this one. Now, as you guys can see, I put this here just in case you hop off when you jump up like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot something just now. What am I, an animal? <laughs> Let's quickly want to upgrade these frames, guys, just so that I have less work to do off camera. I should actually see whether OBS is running through my CPU or my GPU. And then, whichever it is, I'll try swapping it around a bit and see if that makes any difference. Because I only get the stutter when I'm recording, I never get it when I play. What I could do is do water around the trees, but the water evaporates so damn fast, even if there are no growable crops or crops that require water. So that's the only reason why I'm going to put dirt over here, and then perhaps uh, flowers around. You won't be able to see the flowers from on top, but when you're down here at the farm and everything, uh, then perhaps you'll see it. Also guys, um, I'm not sure which horde I'm going to test this base on. Um, I actually want to try it on the next one, but I also want to paint my base. I considered doing that on camera, but that's something you stream, not something you record. It's boring watching someone just play and upgrade as he goes along. Or paint as he goes along. Okay, almost done. Damn, I saw it upgrade these blocks with my stutter, or this game stutter, because I keep upgrading too many blocks to the second level, and you guys know how that bothers me when the rest of the floor is only one level. That, and I'm shaking because I'm using uh, testosterone and clenbuterol for gym. And I have the flu, so it's starting to make me shake a lot. Okay, so the tall trees are here. Uh, something tells me this is not going to grow. This is going to have to wait until I cut these down later. Oh, who knows? Perhaps. You'll see. Okay, well, I placed these last, so I hope they grow. But the rest are starting to grow at least. See, the crops still grow. They just spoil because the farming mechanics doesn't work. Okay, let's see. Uh, now for the storage, and we also have to do the mini bike. Uh, the storage you're gonna do in the bedroom area. I wanted to do it downstairs, but that's just gonna be a hassle later on getting everything. At least over here, it's in the middle of the base, in between up and down. Uh, but the question is, where am I gonna put it now? Should I put it here by the lockers? Guys, I think I'm just quickly gonna uh, stop recording and then start it again and see if the lag goes away. Because this stat is so damn annoying. Okay, so hopefully the lag goes away. Uh, let's just quickly take these apart. Oh, nope, start it again. It's definitely the OBS doing this, guys, so I do apologize if this starts to annoy you. But unfortunately, I have no control over it. Okay, so we could also do storage over here. Uh, let's take away the stairs over here. Ooh, I still need to upgrade this block. Well, obviously, the stairs were there. Okay, so... I'm going to do a row on top and a row at the bottom, and then whatever stays over, we'll put on the other side. I think on that side we'll put like raw materials and stuff that we need to take down to the forge, and over here, we do engines and stuff like that. I'll most likely have to move everything here. Do I have enough space? Um, gas, we actually need to put over here. Let's do this. Okay, car parts. Okay, so this one, let's just put the wooden sign down as well. There is a wandering horde it seems, but at least the turrets are doing the job. Okay, so this one will be engines. The one below it will be the batteries, and then this one will be car parts. Okay, and this one will be the gas. Really? How long does it take to kill zombies? Okay, they're all dead. Cool. Um, while we're here, let's just quickly do this. I still need to put roofs on these. Damn, the stutter. Um, I need to put roofs on these, and then also hatches over here to protect them. 
As you can see, I already put doors on the entrances over there and already hatches on all the tunnels over there. <laughs> just notice I said I have to put roofs on these, but these are the roofs. So there's no need. I just need to put the hatches in. Okay, at least, luckily, since I cut out a lot of content, like the grinding bit, um, you'll only see the stutter when I talk, but still, especially since I'm doing the storage, I'll need to talk a lot. Okay, so let's just quickly see over here. That goes with the weapons over there. Come on. Okay. So this is gas, this is car parts. Let's just grab as much as we can. Car parts and parts. So everything like this goes over here. Okay, and then... Yep, even more. But you get the gist of the idea. Look at the amount of mechanical parts and stuff I have, guys. This is the amount of grinding and cars I have to go through. You can see all the headlights. At least, let's say one headlight per car. So I had to go through 200, almost 300 cars. Um, okay, so engines up there. And then we don't have batteries at the moment, but the batteries will go down there. I think all the painting, even the painting for the storages and everything, I'll do off camera. Because guys, that's just going to take way, way, way too long. Okay, and just quickly put all of this in here. I actually wish you could hold like shift and then uh, click a button on or click one of these and all the gas goes into the chest. Or a way to just put everything in the inventory into a chest. Because I mean, you can go over here and press R, but you can't do that again over here. And it's actually rather annoying. Okay, so that's the batteries. Oh, come on, please. Just a little bit of stuff that makes you go from one chest to another. Uh, that was on us. That's the defenses. That's the minibike entrance. You'll actually see what I have planned for the minibike entrance. I just hope the zombies don't destroy it because that's going to suck. Okay, so over there we can have weapons. Over here we can have ammo. I don't, I'm actually considering doing the ammo parts and gun parts thing as well. But I'm not sure if I should, because at the moment we don't have that many guns and that many parts. I think if that happens, I'll make another chest or move a few chests around. But at the moment, that's just way too unnecessary. Also, for now, we'll have to put the ammo and the guns together, more or less. Because, as you can s No, but it won't happen. This is too much. I think we have way too many guns. Okay, I should actually rename that. It's not just guns, it's weapons. Because these do look lesser. Ooh, I forgot to show you guys this. Check what's on my sniper rifle. A scope. I think I mentioned this last time, but I actually used it a few times, and it's quite awesome. Okay, so this one is almost empty. This one. This is going to take forever. I think the dividing of chests we'll do later, or I'll do off camera. Because at the moment, <laughs> it's going to take the whole episode just sorting all of these out. Uh, the food though I should actually take upstairs oh that reminds me uh, speaking of food and upstairs we need a wire tool because we quickly need to connect the fridges upstairs now this isn't supposed to be with the lights because if you turn the lights off the fridges will also turn off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the relay to the fridges and the two fridges can be connected to each other. See, during the day, that's my problem. There's too little power. What if I turn this off? Is there power then? Yeah, okay, so when I have the lights on up here, I think I have to put torches up here. Because if I have the lights on, then the fridge doesn't work. That sucks. Okay, so... Or I should just get another generator or something for the rest of the base's lighting. Because as soon as I go downstairs, this is going to stop working as soon as those lights kick in. Okay, so these are connected now, and I don't think you can connect these. No. So they are working now at the moment. Oh, wow. Uh, let's just quickly rest and get rid of this flute. No, wait. Instead of resting, what we can do is just grab some antibiotics, and voila. Healed. So we're going to put this away. Let's just see if we can put a few things away now. Oh, I also grabbed this because I want to upgrade. I'm actually considering, I don't know if I should put doors here or not. Because at the moment, the zombies can't get in, as far as I know. 
Um, this place is done. Flooring is done. I know I said I want to replace this flooring as well. Well, I have enough iron. I can just try and upgrade it instead of taking it out and putting it back in. But it's just going to take way too long. Okay, these are filled. Although they drain pretty fast. So I need to get engines for these as well. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to fill them with 600 as well. Because then the day in-game day would have been like 140, 150. So I need to go to new towns just to find those. Um, what do we have on us? Okay, so for the mini bike, I was thinking. Uh, to go out, you can just use a ramp. It's like you can take a ramp out. But, no, even then you can't. I have to do the same over here that I'm going to do outside. Okay. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, it's a work in progress the whole time. Okay. This is in line with that one over there. So let's just grab this. Come on. Like so. Actually, I hope I have enough blocks. Let's just start as far back as possible because I don't know how long it's going to take to go up. And then we start placing. Like so. Now, I could... I should actually, not could. I should go advanced, turn it upside down. It's going to support itself like so. It's just such a pain to switch to single and then switch to the other one. But at least you can copy, 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 copy the whole time. Nope, this one please. Like so. And I can hold 16 up, so I only need one more pillar in the middle. What I could do, but it's going to be a waste of block, is place an upside down one over here. Like, let's just copy one of these quickly. Like so, so I'm wasting one. Please, I just copied you. Like so. And then from up here, all I need to do, uh, but I'll still need to do it from the side like this. Uh, voila. And copy. So I don't have to go down. I just copy this one on the floor the whole time. But with a stutter, it's going to be so easy to fall off this thing. I need to be careful. I also need to count my blocks. Because um, remember, I can only hold 16. 15 out, but 16 total. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. Because that one's holding them. Okay, so I can actually, oh yeah, I can go as far as I want to. Let's just do this from the bottom since you're already down. I might need to make this a double one, uh, but we'll see. Especially outside, um, what I'm going to have to do, it's going to be tricky outside because the zombies can destroy the pillars. I'll have to do this, but like heavily defend it. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. I'll put turrets and stuff around it perhaps. Copy rotation. Whoops. Yep. Just like I said, fall off. And I actually broke my leg. Or sprained your leg. Let's see how, how tall is this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Um, this is how tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So as soon as it's as tall as this, we can go straight. I should have done it from the side like this a long time ago. Okay, copy rotation. Please don't. Nope, almost fell off again. Can you believe it? Whoa. Every time I move, like the important move, I keep... Come on, almost falling. Okay, one more should be able to hold. Please hold, please hold. Uh, copy rotation. Okay, so now we make a pillar. One, two, yeah, two from the, uh, these wood frames. So wood frames are here. This one is here, so it's one, two. Like so, now this one can hold 15 out, and that one will help support. But, to get that, I'll have to put a pillar in between, because I can't reach that eye. Three, four, five. I can't, I honestly can't tell anymore whether I'm shaking, or whether the thing's stuttering. That's how much this clembutrol's uh, kicking in right now. Okay, like so. Please tell me I can reach that one. So that might just get in the way a little bit, the electric fencing. 
And if it does, all I'll do is remove that one and make that one just go a little bit skew. So the chance of the zombie then going in between is a little bit higher, but at least we'll have a way in and out of the base. So basically this is what I want to do outside, but I think, like I said, I'm going to put a turret, I'm going to put this here, like so, and I'm going to put a wall around it made of reinforced concrete, and on top of that some turrets or something pointing straight down to it. Because if zombies get stuck behind it or something, the turrets will take care of it. But at least this, as you can see, it's quite far from the base that it starts, so the zombies shouldn't use it, hopefully. But even if they do, then we're covered. Now what I could do is make the outside one a little bit taller, and then we're settled when zombies try and run over it. Um, since it's taller, I can ramp, but they, will, they won't be able to jump that far. So we'll actually just need to count how far out this one is. If I'm not mistaken, this is three, one, two, three, and then from here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Ah, 19, so I can make a 22 out. I think I'll make the other side of this ramp off camera. Because it takes so much counting everything out and that gets annoying after a while. I'll actually also need to see how far it is between this pillar and the wall. Because the problem is the spikes in the fences over here. Unless I do it like, for example, this one holds like five out and then there's that gap that I was talking about. Then even if this is shorter than this side, um, if I extend it a bit, I can move the pillar back a bit. So remember, I don't want a solid beam like this because if the zombies run up it from that side, then they'll get in. And that we want to avoid at all costs. Okay, so we actually did a lot... I know, guys, every time I might do an episode, we do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but that's better. I hope there's no dogs or something. Uh, but that's better like that, because then at least you get more or less an idea of what I'm doing off camera. Uh, let's just put that simple, advanced. Oh, come on. I'm already making a mistake. Come on, I only have that many iron bars. I can't afford to misplace like this. It'll suck if there's a zombie stepping on a pressure plate like behind me, because then these will shred me. I actually wish the characters were taller, because then I could do like a farm and just walk like this. Well, I can actually still do this. Huh, okay. That's a lot faster. You guys, if you know how to turn the weather off, like for example the snow, it's almost like the game registers the whole map, every single biome as snow. I mean I have a puffer coat on and I'm freezing in the forest, how the hell? If you know how to fix that, just please comment down below. Is it something to like weather survival off, or is it something else? Because what you could do is do this, you go in here. And type weather survival off, enter, and it turns it off. So you don't get cold anymore, and the temperature, it feels like, gets stuck at a certain degree. But that turns off only the feel. It doesn't turn off what it's actually over here. So it can still snow and get irritating. Okay, and done. I just have to remove the three that I placed wrong. Okay, so what I'm going to do off camera, guys, is I'm going to plant that dirt around the trees. I'm going to plant um, chrysanthemum, cotton, and goldenrod around that. Perhaps if I find a blue plant, I'll do that the same. Um, I'll do the other ramp off camera, and then I'll figure out what's wrong with OBS causing the frame drop like this, or the stutter, and fix that before the horde. So the next episode you guys see will be the horde, and then the episode after that will be a base tour. And then after that, we'll try other War of the Walkers or Dying Lands. There's also the CB mod, but I'm not actually interested in that one. But yeah, we'll see. So if you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. If any comments or tips or feedback for me, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.